Hello and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. From bracing for Obamacare to making sure that our children have a place to play. Janet Nguyen, uh, Orange County Supervisor in the 1st District, has a lot on her plate, a lot going on. We welcome her today. Thank you so much for Thank being you, here. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. Uh, how is it your district, uh, Orange County in particular, um, setting themselves up preparing for Obamacare? as well, it comes to our area. You know, Obamacare is going to be something that's going to drastically change our nation. In Orange County alone, we're looking at over 100 to 150, actually 100,000 to 200,000 more individuals who will qualify for Medi-Cal. Um, that's approximately almost 25 to 30 percent of Orange County population. And so it's, it's something that we are definitely looking, doing our due diligence from the county side and also from CalOptima. CalOptima is the, is the public agency that manages Medi-Cal for um, Orange County. How do you begin to prepare for that and what effect do you expect it to have? Well, first is public outreach. Um, we, we need to find out, um, actually, no, let me, first is find out what the federal government really wants us to do. <laughs> that in itself is difficult, and trying to find out what the rates are and what we're going to be paid um, to be able to assist and how, and, and how these patients are going to be enrolled. And so it's doing our due diligence. Right now at the county side, we're preparing because Orange County is the one who does the eligibility for these patients or for you to be eligible to apply for Medi-Cal. We need to put ourselves and have enough staff on hand to make sure that when we, when there's going to be a hundred or two hundred thousand application, we are able to process it. And how long that's going to process and how long it's going to take is also something we could be penalized by the federal government or not as well. And so there's a lot of moving parts right now. We're just really at the end of the day is waiting to see what the federal government and the state are going to tell us what we have to do. But we in our, cell, our own house are preparing staffing, preparing for our, doing our due diligence to making sure that we will enroll these individuals and making sure that there's enough doctors, enough um, you know, providers to care for these patients as they're flooding into the system. Okay. Well, moving on to a completely different topic, um, parks in Orange County, particularly in your district. Uh, you know, we're a very populated area. We are. And in my district, Leslie, I'm in Central Orange County, which is Garden Grove, Fountain Valley, Westminster, and Santa Ana, and also Midway City. Central Orange County is, is they're very old cities, and we're very urbanized where there's not many places for parks. So. My first initiative, my number one priority in my district has always been is making sure we find recreational activities and, and if we can find areas where we can open new parks, that's a priority. Why do parks matter? Because as you know, we, we hear nationally in Orange County, obesity is a problem, children needs a place to play, and if they don't have a recreational place that's safe for them to play, they either, one, over they're going to be obese, two, they join a gang. Mm -hmm. And so this is really trying to help our children and our future of this county to making sure that they're healthy and they stay away from gang and so that they can eventually contribute back to the county and to the people of, of Orange County. Mm -hmm. Which areas are you focusing on for parks? Right now uh, there is an area in Garden Grove. Mm -hmm. We're very excited. It uh, used to be a flood channel. We're going to cover half of the channel up and by the end of this year into next year um, half of the channel will be covered and we will have um, a f two full soccer fields on top of the channel. Okay, and then very quickly, because we only have a little time, you have a health expo and a job fair coming yeah. up. Tell us the, about those. The, um, the job fair is on April 3rd in Fountain Valley at the Recreational Center, and our health expo is April 13th and the 14th in Santa Ana at the Santa Ana High School. And good resources to check yes. out. Thank you so much, Janet. Thank you very much. And for being here. And thank you for joining us. You can always check out more local editions on YouTube and on the California Channel. I'm Leslie Layton.